Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this isn't exactly an episode, it's just a short, short video that I'm going to put out between episodes. What I'm planning to do with these videos is mainly to show you the setups that I'm running, like say archery setups, rifle setups, the full drives, give you a bit of an idea on some different setups and probably run some just short like how-to videos. I'm not sure really exactly what I'm going to be doing with it, but anyways, this week is my bow hunting setups and I just want to go through a couple of bows that I have and the parts on them that I'm using, the arrows and just stuff like that. So first up is the uh, RX4 Carbon Alpha. It's a 2020 bow, I got this this year. Bit of an upgrade from my old 2016 obsession. Just want to run through how I've set it up, what I'm what parts I've used, and what I think of it. So anyways, I've got the uh, I don't know if you can see that the trophy taker smackdown rest. So I think it's a smackdown pro click with a micro adjust. Run that for a few years now after trying some um, quad. I think I've tried the QAD Hunters, the HDXs, and I don't know. They were okay, but I didn't really rate them that, that much. Yeah, so I've ended up going with the limb driven rest instead, and I can't fault it. Just gets abused pretty hard, along with all my other gear, so and it's still holding up. Half the shit's missing off of it, but <laughs> it's still working. I've got the option option archery sight. That's the option four. Hopefully you can see it there. Option four with the dial. So you've got one single pin and three fixed pins. Pull that out of the way. So you've got one pin or four pins. I think you can't really go wrong with a sight like that. It's Best of both worlds, you got your single pin movable and your fixed pins as well, so 20, 30, 40 metres I've got set and a floater. Well, I'm pretty happy with that sight. But yeah, again, it's just a good, tough bit of bit of gear. Also running the, uh, the dead centre. Dead centre stabiliser. It was a kit, there is two stabilizers, so you got a 10 inch and an eight inch back bar as well, or you can use it as a front, whatever. But I haven't used it on this. I don't think you really need it, but I've got it there in case. Uh, what else? The, uh, the Hoyt two piece carbon clipper. It's a bit loose. <laughs> I'll tighten that up later. And I've got some new arrows that I've got. So I've got the, the Nexus Infinity Shafts. These are a 250 spine, 11.1 .1 grains per inch with the Fusion, fusion veins. Oh, this one's from Last week, shooting goats, I ripped that one off a bit. I don't know, it's not really a whole lot to add. And with this bow, I've been using a Carter Just Because release aid, which is a thumb release, and with that, I've been really consistent about with this bow, even though it's a short brace and a short axle to axle bow, I've still been shooting really accurately. I haven't shot any long range or anything like that. I've, the longest shot I've taken with this on an animal was 27 yards, I think, which was a scrub ball a couple of months ago, and put the arrow straight through his heart. It's a nice bow to shoot, I rate it. But if you want, if you want to see this uh, RX4 in action, this Friday coming, I've actually got a, a bow hunting episode where I'll take this out and. We go and get some 
chase some meat goats for a day. But yeah, you get to see see it out in the out in the bush, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, next, what I'd like to talk about is my um, my recurve. And this recurve is a, a Damon Howitt Mamba or a Martin Mamba, they also call them. And this is a 58 inch and it's a 50 pound at 28 inch draw. I'm not a 28 inch draw, so I'm probably only pulling mid 40s to somewhere mid 40s to 50 range, I would assume. I don't know. Never actually measured it or weighed it, and I don't really plan to. I've got this, I don't even know what it is, some sort of bow quiver for it. Just a cheap one, I think. It seems to do the job, it's okay. One day I'll get a bit better one. And the arrows on this, I've got the Cayuga old school, the single bevel models. And they've just been, they've been awesome out of this bow. I've, I've probably shot half a dozen goats with them and getting good pass throughs and good blood trails as well. I'm running the gold trip, gold tip traditional shafts in a 500, just with some feathers on the back. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing special about these at all. But I'm nearly running out, so I may have a look around, see what other shafts we've got. If anyone's got any suggestions, I'm happy to listen. And string, this is a JS custom string. So if you, sh if you're in Australia and you shoot a recurve, or if you shoot a traditional bow, you'll know whose strings these are. These are Jack Spinks custom bows that he, uh, custom strings that he makes and the quality is just it's actually really good and they're really good price I've had this on for a couple of years now and you wouldn't even be able to tell that it's been on there for that long off it looks brand new still even though I don't take this out heaps I've used it a bit even shot it a fair bit but you wouldn't tell but anyways I'm going to put if anyone's a traditional shooter here and wants a new string, I'm going to put the Jack's Instagram page into my description on this video. And yeah, go and have a look. So that's pretty much my recurve. Yeah, it's nothing super, super amazing. It's a, it's got to be around a mid price, like six, seven, eight hundred dollars or something like that. I can't exactly remember. I've had it for a fair few years. Just a one piece. Maybe I'll get a takedown just for the ease of storage and transport. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with this bow. If you hang around for a few weeks, then I've actually made an episode of traditional bow hunts. So I've taken this bow out and chased some goats. So if you want to see that, it'll be on, it'll be on in a few weeks. Pretty much to show you the setups that I'm running. Yeah, so later on I'll probably do some more of these episodes on either my rifles or the full drive setups or anything along those lines of gear, gear related videos. And probably some just small how-to videos that might be helpful to some people. If you've got anything you'd be interested in seeing or something like that, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a few more days for episode 4 when that comes out. Thanks.